expression of intensity expression of intensity of resultant light wave expression of intensity of resultant light wave for secondary maximum for secondary maximum diffraction pattern expression of intensity of resultant light wave for secondary maximum diffraction pattern we can draw a slit or aperture ab ab is the single slit or aperture and parallel rays are passing through this aperture ab and a convex lens l2 is placed at a certain distance from the aperture ab and this parallel rays are incident uh, on this uh, convex lens l and the refracted rays the refracted rays will converge on the screen at the point o that is this refracted rays or rays after refraction through the convex lens l will converge at the second focus f2 of the lens l small a is the aperture width or aperture length and at the sharp corner a and b secondary wavelets are diffracted at an angle theta or uh, rays of light are uh, deviated from its straight line path and these secondary wavelets will converge at the point p on the screen after refraction through the convex lens l theta is the angle of deviation theta is the angle of deviation now we can draw a normal from the point a on uh, the secondary wavelet generated from the point B, An is the normal and Bn is equal to A sin theta which is the path difference between the secondary wavelets generated from the sharp corners B and E reaching the point P. A sin theta is the path difference and this is secondary wavelets or new wave which are deviated at an angle theta from its straight line path. At P, secondary maximum diffraction pattern is formed and around the point O at which refracted rays without any deviation converge, central maximum is formed, central maximum is formed. So in this way we get diffraction pattern. The central maximum has the intensity I0. This is the first secondary minimum. And the next diffraction pattern is first secondary maximum. First secondary maximum. Intensity of first secondary minimum is I1 prime. And I1 is the intensity of first secondary maximum. We can denote other diffraction uh, pattern on the screen. These are the other diffraction pattern and there will be alternate bright and dark fringes in diffraction pattern. The intensity of resultant light wave, the intensity of resultant light wave for nth secondary maximum, the intensity of resultant wave for nth secondary maximum diffraction pattern which is produced due to the superposition of secondary wavelets from the different parts of a single slit or wavefront. Intensity of resultant wave for NH secondary maximum diffraction pattern produced due to superposition of secondary wavelets due to superposition of secondary wavelets from the different parts from the different parts of a single wave front of a single wave front under bracket ab that is the slit or aperture ab is given by i n equal i 0 bracket opened sine beta divided by beta whole square 
i n equal i zero bracket opened sine beta by beta bracket closed whole square i n equal i zero sine beta by beta whole square where beta is equal to phi by two beta equal phi by two where phi is the phase difference between the two secondary wave load wavelets which superimpose and form diffraction pattern where beta equal phi by two and the phase difference between the two secondary wavelets is phi equal 2 pi by lambda into delta x where delta x is the path difference between the two secondary wavelets where path difference where delta x is the path difference which is equal to a sin theta in the diagram and delta x is the path difference between the two secondary wavelets generated from the sharp corners a and b of the aperture ab at an angle theta delta x is the path difference between the two secondary wavelets superimposing to produce in its secondary maximum diffraction pattern so in place of delta x what we can read here these are the secondary wavelets which are deviated at an angle theta from its straight line path theta is the angle of deviation and this secondary wavelets will superimpose at the point p and uh, first secondary maximum is formed which has the intensity i1 and a sin theta is the path difference between these two secondary wavelets therefore phase difference phi equal to 2 pi by lambda into a sin theta therefore beta is equal to pi a sin theta divided by lambda beta is equal to pi a sin theta divided by lambda which which is the half the phase difference now the path difference now the path difference between two secondary wavelets two secondary wavelets superimposing at the point p on the screen and producing fast secondary maximum diffraction pattern maximum diffraction pattern is given by is given by delta x equal 2n plus 1 lambda by 2 or comma a sin theta equal 2n plus 1 lambda by 2 where n equal 1 for fast secondary maximum diffraction pattern or comma a sin theta equal 3 lambda by 2 A sin theta equal three lambda by two, which is the path difference between two secondary wavelets, producing fast secondary maximum diffraction pattern. Therefore, the phase difference between the two secondary wavelets is phase difference between the two secondary wavelets is phase difference between the two secondary wavelets producing the fast secondary maximum diffraction pattern or the fast bright fringe. Is given by phi equal two pi by lambda into a sine theta, or comma phi equal two pi by lambda into three lambda by two. Therefore, phi equal three pi. Phi equal three pi, which is the phase difference between the two secondary wavelets producing fast secondary maximum diffraction pattern. Therefore, beta equal half the phase difference. Therefore, beta equal three pi by two. beta equal 3 pi by 2 which is the half the phase difference between the two secondary wavelets producing fast secondary maximum beta equal 3 pi by 2 which is the phase difference between the two secondary wavelets therefore i1 equal i0 sin beta by beta whole square equal i0 sin 3 pi by 2 divided by 3 pi by 2 I zero into three pi by two divided by three pi by two whole square equal I zero minus one by three pi by two whole square equal therefore I one equal four I zero divided by nine pi square I one equal four I zero divided by nine pi square therefore I one equal I zero divided by twenty two now we know that four by nine pi square is equal to one by twenty two which is zero point zero four five. Nine four uh, by nine pi square is equal to zero point zero four five, which is equal to one by twenty two. 
so we get i1 as equal i0 divided by 22 which is the intensity of first secondary maximum diffraction pattern intensity of first secondary maximum diffraction pattern is i1 equal i0 by 22 similarly for second secondary maximum diffraction pattern a sin theta equal to n plus 1 lambda by 2 where n equal to therefore a sin theta equal 5 lambda by 2 therefore phi equal to 2 pi by lambda into a sin theta therefore the phase difference phi equal 5 pi phi equal 5 pi this is the phase difference phase difference between two secondary wavelets phi equal 5 pi therefore i2 equal i0 sin beta by beta where beta equal 5 by 2 which is equal to 5 pi by 2 i0 sin 5 pi by 2 divided by 5 pi by 2 which is equal to 4 i0 by 25 pi square 4 i0 divided by 25 pi square which is equal to 0 0.016 i0 0.016 i0 and that can be written as i0 divided by 62 i0 divided by 62 is equal 0.01621 i0 now 1 by 61 is equal what and 1 by 62 is equal 1 1 by 62 equals 0 0.016129 and 1 by 61 is equal to 0 0.01639 therefore i2 is equal i0 divided by 62 i2 is equal i0 divided by 62 i2 equal i0 divided by 62 which is the intensity of second secondary maximum diffraction pattern i2 equal i0 divided by 62 which is the intensity of second secondary maximum diffraction pattern for the for third secondary maximum a sin theta is equal to n plus 1 lambda by 2 where n equal 3 therefore a sin theta equals 7 lambda by 2 therefore phase difference phi equal 2 pi by lambda into a sin theta a sin theta is equal to 7 lambda by 2 which is the path difference now phase difference phi equal 2 pi by lambda a sin theta phi equal 2 pi by lambda into a sin theta putting the value we get phi as equal 7 pi 7 pi which is the phase difference between the two secondary wavelets producing third secondary maximum producing third secondary maximum therefore beta equal phi by 2 which is 7 pi by 2 and i3 is equal i0 bracket open 7 beta divided by beta whole square is equal to i0 sine 7 pi by 2 divided by 7 pi by 2 whole square equal 4 i0 divided by 49 pi square now 4 by 49 pi square is 1 by 21 and that is equal to 0 0.0827 0 0.082711 now 1 by 121 is equal to 0 0.08264 and 1 by 122 is equal to 0 0.0081967. So finally we get I0 divided by 121. So I3 is equal I0 divided by 121. I3 is equal I0 divided by 121 which is the intensity of third secondary maximum diffraction pattern now we can draw the graph intensity versus phase difference graph intensity versus phase difference graph along vertical axis intensity of resultant light wave is plotted and intensity will change following this curve following this curve and uh, the peaks denote uh, the secondary maximum these are the different peaks along the vertical axis intensity of resultant uh, light wave is plotted along horizontal axis phase difference phi is plotted phase difference phi is plotted we can denote the peaks of 
uh, intensity of different peaks i1 is the intensity of first secondary maximum i0 is the intensity of cent central maximum i0 is the intensity of central maximum i2 is the intensity of second secondary maximum i3 is the intensity of third secondary maximum diffraction pattern we can denote i1 i2 and i3 on the left hand side also this intensity is i3 this in intensity will be i3 now we can denote the phase difference 3 pi 5 pi 7 pi so add the phase differences 3 pi 5 pi and 7 pi secondary maximum will be obtained and uh, here the expression of intensity of resultant light wave is i n equal i 0 sin beta b by beta whole square i n equal i 0 sin beta divided by beta whole square therefore i 1 equal i 0 by 22 i 2 equal i 0 by 62 and i 3 is equal i 0 by 121 and so on in this way i 1 equal i 0 by 22 i2 equal i0 by 62 and the intensity of third secondary maximum is i3 which is equal i0 by 121 in this case intensity of resultant wave or intensity of uh, secondary maximum decreases with the phase difference intensity decreases as according to the equation i n equal i0 sin beta by beta whole square beta by beta whole square where beta is equal to phi by 2 where beta is the half the phase difference and phase difference phi equal to 2 pi by lambda a sin theta phi is the phase difference and theta is the angle of diffraction or angle with which a secondary wavelet is deviated from its straight line path